welcome back to Bands 360 and welcome to a quick 20 minute exercise band workout today focused on the upper body. We're going to be doing five exercises, four rounds. We're going to be working for 35 seconds with 25 seconds rest. So we're just pushing that intensity up a little bit and we're going to be focusing on the arms, the shoulders, the chest. When you're ready, let's get going. Let's start to warm up and we'll walk, talk everything through. Okay guys, so if we start with some chest openers. Here we go. So how are you feeling today? It's a quick blast, this one. We're gonna be adding a little bit of resistance in with this exercise band. Remember, you can use uh, all different types of resistance with the exercise band. There is light, medium, heavy. Uh, we can use a bit of a mix as well. Today, we're just gonna be using one. We're gonna be using the medium band. Uh, I'm gonna talk you through everything. Hopefully it's simple. I'll try and talk you through uh, all the technique in the intervals and then we'll, we'll get going. Okay guys, couple more of these arms, oh, uh, chest openers. Can't even talk this morning. <laughs> Here we go, okay, so now arm swings forward. <clears throat> Good stuff guys. Make sure you've got yourself a mat or some soft flooring. You can put a towel on the floor or something like that, or a rug or anything. We're gonna be on the floor for one of these exercises at least. That's it, good stuff guys. A few more seconds of these, and then we're gonna go backwards. Great stuff. Ceiling in here is nice and low, so I've got to keep my arms down a little bit. Hopefully you're blessed with a higher ceiling than me. That's it, a couple more seconds of these and then we'll just do a few rotations through the hips. There we go, pulse on either side. That's it. Just warming up that spine a bit. Just getting a few rotations in. Okay guys, we'll be going in 30 seconds. A few more of these. I'll just pulse this last couple. Here we go, okay guys, <clears throat> excuse me, a bit hoarse today. We'll be going in 20 seconds, 15 seconds even. Get yourself some water, get yourself ready. The first exercise we're gonna be doing is a press up. So, with our band, we wanna put it across our shoulder blades on the back here. Make sure our hands are through the band, like so. And then let's get into the press up position. High plank on the floor, lowering ourselves down, and then up, lowering ourselves down, and then driving upwards. Okay, normal press up, like always, but we're gonna have a bit more resistance when we're pushing up. We're just adding to it here. Okay, that's it guys. Keep nice and strong, keep those elbows in, keep the bum down, keep that tempo as well. Nice one, two down, one up. One, two down, drive up. Good stuff guys. Okay, we're really waking up the upper body now. Next one we're going to be doing is a shoulder press. So, step into your band, get it nice and purchased in there. Up here like you're doing a front rack, so you're racking the rack of your bar across your chest, and then we're just pushing upwards, okay? Fantastic, so it's a bit like a military press, if you know what those are. Where you've got the bar, the bar across your chest, and then we're just pushing upwards. Okay? So, keeping your hands on your shoulders like that, and we're just pushing upwards. So, getting the band just above your head. Stretching out those arms. Good stuff, guys. That's it. Wow. Working hard today. My always had issues with my left shoulder and it's playing up. But I'm going to get through this, taking it nice and safe, nice low weight, keeping the repetitions under control, so I should be okay. Okay, next thing we do: sit down, face pulls. <sighs> right, sitting down, the right leg stretched out. Get the band around our soles of our feet. I'm holding the band slightly low here, and we're just pulling towards our face. Okay, so this is working the muscles in your upper back. So bringing your hands to eye level. Good 
Good work, guys. Keeping that back nice and straight if you can. Good stuff. Okay, next one we're going to do is bicep curls. <clears throat> so, again, get the band in here. In the stand, step into your band. And then just holding the band a bit lower down, we're just going to be. Okay? Super simple. Just keeping those elbows nice and close to the body. If you want a bit more resistance, hold the band a bit lower down. Or widen your feet slightly. So you can be a bit like this. Okay. That's it. Good stuff guys, number four done. Number five is going to be our bent over row. So, if we get our band like this, okay, slight, lay it on the floor and step onto the band. So you, you're doubled up essentially, and you've got two, uh, like I suppose, loops at the end that you can pull on. So from here, just with a nice straight back, bum out, and just Rowing up. Okay. Just pulling up, feeling that in our upper back. Keeping the elbows nice and tight to the body. Good work, guys. Keeping as bent over as you can. Keeping that stable position. Good work guys, fantastic. Okay, one round done, four to go. Back into our press up. So, <clears throat> band across the back of our shoulder blades, putting our hands through so the band is across our knuckles essentially. And that will give us decent purchase there when we're on the ground, okay? Again, it's 35 seconds. So we want to take this nice and gently, nice and steady. Down, then up. One, two, and then one up. One, two, driving up. That's it. Well done, guys. Keep strong. Ten more seconds. Last one. Good work. Okay, so from here, back into our military presses, our shoulder presses. So stepping into our band, feet shoulder width apart, okay, and then bringing that band up to our shoulders, as if we're just getting ready to push the bar above our head, and then we're gonna go. Here we go, so, driving up, Nice and controlled down. Driving up, controlling that movement downwards. Good work, guys. Just bringing that hands to the shoulders, and then up we go. Loving it. Really working those shoulders, okay? Start feeling scream at some point. That's it, five more seconds. Whoa, that is a burner. I need a second one. Killing. Right, next one we're going to be doing. I can't remember, there's only five exercises, I can't remember them. For sit down face pulls. Sit down face pulls. So, again, sit down or our, our legs stretched out. Holding just further down the band this time. Okay, and with our legs stretched out, we're just pulling. Our hands, our fists, towards our face. So we should be working the muscles in the upper back here. There we go. 
nice and explosive on the way in, and then just holding that tension on the way back down. Okay, last one. Whoop, putting myself up there. That's the danger that you go like that. <laughs> so you keep nice and strong on the floor. Next one, guys, bicep curls. So again, with this, our feet in the band. Next time we've got a kind of supine grip, under, holding upwards, our palms facing upwards here. And we're just going like that. Okay, so again, just keeping our elbows nice and tight to the body. We're only hinging at the elbow and we're keeping that tension in our biceps. Good work. Okay, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, just widen your stance a little bit. But just make sure you're keeping that strong focus on the bicep. You're doing the whole movement as well. I don't want to see just short movements, whole movement, okay? The whole range. Good work, guys. Okay, now our bent over rows. So with this, we're getting our band, layering it above. We're going to step our up to the, step into the band. So it's essentially now half. It creates these two loops, these two handles at the end. And this is our bent over position, okay? So, bum out, back is, back sort of as parallel with the ground as you can get it, or totally parallel, but as far as you can go. And then we're just rowing upwards. So we're focusing on the muscles in the back here. So it's the opposite of the press up. The press up we're doing chest, here we're doing our back. You should really feel this working. Good work guys, we're halfway through. Oh, I'm sweating, grab some water in the 20 seconds. Mm. Okay, let's get ready. Oh. Oh, for the press ups, band across the back. Let's get our hands through. Let's get ready to go. You don't get much time with this 25 second rest, okay? Down we go. One, two, one. One, two, one. It might feel a bit weird at first. One, two, one. But you soon get used to it. One, two, one. Okay, keeping that pace. One, two, one. One, two, one. If you need to have a rest, put your knees down. But then we go. One, two, one. Good work, guys. So, so if you need to have a quick rest in between those, pop your knees on the floor or just go to the knee position and carry on the press ups from there, okay? Right, shoulder press. Today, this is the one I'm struggling with the most. So, there's always one. Long it's the Russian twists. So there is this one. Okay, so, military press position, and up we go. Okay, driving up, nice and controlled on the way down. Driving up, nice and controlled on the way down. <clears throat> I've had issues all year, Paul, with my left shoulder, so I've been rehabbing it for ages, so I don't tend to do many heavy weights, just these kind of things, but they work really well, except on days when the shoulder feels really tired. Good work, guys. Good work. <coughs> yeah, just, I don't know what, how, what I did. Just years of probably overtraining it, but yeah, it's taken a lot, of, a lot of rehab over the last sort of 12 months, which is very frustrating. Uh, okay, sit down, face pulls. <coughs> Here we go. So, band around our soles of our feet, and then grabbing the bands halfway down, and just pulling towards my face. I'm bringing the hands up towards my eye line. Okay. Okay, nice and controlled on that downward. Explosive upwards, nice and driving towards my face. Not hitting my face, 
drive them towards it. Good work, guys. Keep it up, five more seconds, here we go. Super. Okay, so from here, our bicep curls. So you're having a, an injury and having a, my shoulder rehabbing, meaning I can't do heavy weights and things like that. I had to really adapt my, my training. Also, it's put a lot more emphasis on my diet to make sure I just keep things balanced as well because I'm not training as hard with weights as I might have done in the past. Okay, so bicep curls. Here we go. So, there we go, guys. So, again, if you want to make it slightly more difficult, just widen that stance. Or you can grab slightly lower down the band. Again, we're just keeping everything still, keeping our elbows nice and locked into the side. We're just feeling that tension on the way down and driving upwards, okay? That whole range of motion as well. Good work. I know a lot of people who do bicep curls like this, it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the whole range of motion, okay? Right, bend over rows. So, getting our band on the floor in two bits. Well, doubled up, sorry. Stepping into it, creating two handles, two loops at the end. From there, here we go. Okay, so this is the bent over position. From this bent over position, you kind of, as if you're just about to be lifting up a bar off the floor or something. Okay, keep it hinging at the hip, but keeping a nice straight back. And then we're just driving upwards with our, our arms and elbows. But really, the work is being done in your back and the muscles in your back. Try and keep your elbows tucked in. Good work, guys. Okay, one more round to go. 15 exercises down, five to go. I am warm. I am warm. Right, let's get ahead in the game. Get myself ready. Got the band across my back. Get my hands in there for the press ups. Okay, there we go. Two. Let's go. So, so it's like I said, if you're struggling with this, just go onto your knees. We're working the upper body today anyway. So you just want to be focusing on holding that tension and working those chest muscles. Good work, guys. Okay, just one, two, down, and then up. 10 more seconds. One, two, down, and up. One, two, down. Last one. Good stuff, okay. Press up's done. Right, shoulder press. Right, I've got to get my head in the game here. Got to focus. <sighs> Been finding these hard. Shoulder is giving me chip at the moment. Not so much that I don't want to train it, but just got to be super careful around it, okay? Keep everything in control. <sighs> right, that front rank position. And just pushing up again. Driving up. Nice and controlled down. Driving up. Nice and controlled down. So just focusing, making sure I've got control of the movement all the way through. So a couple more. Here we go. Last one. Whoa. Whoa. Definitely, that's enough for that shoulder today. <laughs> Got a good stretch on there. Okay, so sit down face balls next. Again, if you're, listen to your body when you're injured as well. Like, don't train hard on an injury. For me, the weight is like here, I'm keeping control, it's okay. Okay, so again, put it up to your face, oh, that was a, there we go. Forgot what I was doing there. Doing a row. We want to be doing a face pull. You can tell. I start getting a little bit tired and blowing. To get what I'm doing. Oh, that's it. 
Put it out to the face, nice and controlled back. Okay. Good work, guys. Two more left, two more left. Bicep curls, bent over rows, and we're done. So like I was saying, if you're feeling a bit injured or you're really not sure, don't train on, on injury. Try and let it, let it heal. With this, with using the band, actually this is quite good for my shoulder, but I can feel it getting tired, so I'm gonna lay off it a bit. But I wouldn't be doing any real heavy weight on this, okay? So, bicep curls. Here we go. That's it. Again, full movement here, okay? Full range of motion. So all the way down and then up. We're not doing half, like that. It's not going to get you anywhere. We want full range of motion. Keeping nice and controlled in that downward and then driving upwards. Great stuff, guys. Okay, last exercise and then we're done. 20 minutes. I'm sweating. Hopefully you are too. Really work the upper body. Feel a bit of a. You feel a bit, bit of a pump. I think is the right word. Um, we haven't been doing heavy, heavy weights, but we've been working. Okay, we've been controlling the tension throughout. So, get your band on the floor. Step over your band. Create those loops, and then in that forward uh, bent over row position, we're just pulling on those loops. Okay, keep the elbows nice and tight to the body. Good work, guys. Let's get our head focused. Super. Oh, I need to focus on that last one there. Great work, guys. Great work. So, that was a quick 20 minute upper body exercise band workout. Like I said, it could be done anywhere. If you think you haven't got weights, you can't do it, but you want to do, excuse me, something for your weights, or you want to do, sorry, something with resistance, or you just want to sort of have a bit of variation from the usual body weight hit, going for a run, all that kind of stuff. These are fantastic. Take them with you wherever you go, on holiday, on work trips, you can do them in hotel rooms, you can do them in any room, the garden, whatever. Like you, can, like you saw there, you didn't need anything else apart from your body weight, probably a decent pair of trainers, so you're not hurting the bottoms of your feet. Whew. That's got me today, but I'm really glad I did that. 20 minutes, quick blast. Wasn't feeling it when I came into this, I was feeling a bit tired, shoulders a bit achy, but I've made it happen, and I'm really pleased about it. Right guys, let's just get a quick stretch in. Oh. Let's get down onto our knees, sit back onto the heels. We're just going to stretch out here, stretch our back again. Just take a moment for yourself when you're in this position. Just to get us a nice habit to get into. Even if we've not, we don't feel like we've worked the muscles that we're stretching. It's just a nice habit to get into. An all body stretch. And from here, get up onto our toes, just pushing our heels back into the ground, our head through the shoulders. And we're just going to hold that for a few seconds. Good work, guys. Okay, then let's come forward. Just pushing our pelvis into the ground, just feeling that stretch on the front of the body. I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds as well. Okay, and then from here, let's get up onto our feet. Okay, palm across. So we've worked the shoulders a bit more today, so this is now nice and prevalent for us. This would be just doing a nice maintenance stretch here. Just trying to help dissipate some of the lactic acid, maintain that muscle length. Okay, hold that for a few seconds. 
Again, we do these exercises, even if we haven't worked the upper body, it's just a nice routine for us to get into. Nice little warm down routine for us to get into, just doing those, those maintenance stretches, those nice static stretches. It may even help if you did the upper body, upper body workout yesterday, this helps you today as well. Okay, and then just bringing the elbow across, hand between the shoulder blades and just pulling that elbow across. Okay, hold that for a few seconds. And then same again on the other side. Again, hand between the shoulder blades, just pulling across your elbow. Fantastic work guys. 20 minutes smash today. Hopefully you're feeling that. Nice little bit of variation there. We really work the muscles without using weights. We're just using a resistance band. <clears throat> Super useful and a great bit of kit for you to always have around with you. If you can, invest in a couple of these. A light one, a medium one, a heavy one as well. These are about a fiver, I think, where I got this one. So, you know, as you progress and you want to increase the weight, then you can use the heavier one. If you need to regress slightly or you want to try new things, you can try with a lighter one and then build up. Guys, thank you so much. As always, let me know any feedback, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. Always great to hear from you. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Oh,